Fantastic. There's another way that your crusade dollars go to work. Yeah, I love that smile there at the end with Riley. We've got to talk about one of our buddies. You know, Milton Metz passed away last year. A woman just handed me a check uh, in his honor, $50 right there. We've had that happen many times here. Thank you for that. We appreciate that. But we lost a brother and a leader here at the Crusade, one of the pioneers of the Crusade for Children, legendary radio and TV host Milton Metz. And, in fact, he was a legend in talk radio long before that term was coined, mm -hmm. talk radio. He brought class and intelligence to everything he did. So join us now for a look back at the incredible life of Milton Metz. Well, it looks as though you're offering everybody a, a full plate of quality. That voice, it identified the man instantly. George, we forgot something. Milton Metz stayed active at WHAS Radio years after he retired from daily broadcasting, recording commercials for clients and friends effortlessly. You guys did a good job. Yeah. Thank you. We're good usually job. one take. <laughs> Hello again, everybody. When he retired in 1993, Metz had spent 34 years behind the microphone for just one of his programs, the radio show. And it all started in 1946 when he was hired unseen by the management. Well, I didn't know where Louisville was. I lived in Cleveland. And Louisville sounded exotic to me, and I needed a job. It was a job he would never leave, from radio to television. This is The View from HAS. Metz was an ever-growing presence. This is the 1964 WHAS Crusade for Children. The Crusade is absolutely one of the high marks uh, of any association I've had with these radio and TV stations. There's no downside to it, Doug. The Crusade for Children is singular in what it does. He did everything. He did sports. I once did a Davis Cup tennis match after I got here. From announcing to creating a new weather gimmick called the Magic Weather Writer. And the low a year ago today was 47. Now let's take a look at the Magic Weather Writer and the Louisville forecast, which reads, let's say this, Jim, sounds nice, fair skies, and warmer temperatures with a high of around 75. As he later remarked during a station anniversary, the weather writer provided for some interesting twists. The uh, person who was writing it couldn't spell, even though we had given him a sheet. So the word sunny would come out S-O-N-N-Y. Cloudy would be cloudy with no U in it. And it was the morning program omelet where Metz would blaze new trails and discover up-and-coming talent like John Cougar Mellencamp. I'm just a small town boy, being used like a toy, and working a nine to five. Cougar, uh, obviously, I suspect is not your real name. How long have you had it? About six or seven months. Wait, is it, was it wear comfortably on you, Johnny? Yes, it does real well. But his favorite interview is this one, with the original cast from the TV show MASH. It was totally unrehearsed. Milton, may I ask you a personal question? <laughs> Why are you wearing a hairpiece that the net shows on it? This is a big market. Well, I just love it because I've seen it maybe 50 times because it was the most untraditional interview you ever saw. You're being insulted, you're being jived at, you're being kidded about your clothes, your nose, your haircut, your tie. Omelette thrived through the 70s and 80s on TV. Metz and his co-host Faith Lyles tackled unheard of issues on the air at the time. Tomorrow on Omelette, we're going to have a, a pro and con discussion on smut and a little pornography and both sides. And it was the same on his long-running radio show, Metz Here, one of the country's first talk shows when it went on the air. The best thing about that was that it thrived through what I would call benign neglect. Nobody knew anything about talk shows in those days. But Metz was different, tossing out the trend towards shock radio. A middle of the road, because I figured it was a talk show. It wasn't a host talk show. It was the viewers and the listeners talk show. Now, if I heard an out-and-out -out lie or a slander about somebody, I would challenge it. I wasn't going to be a wimp. One of his finest examples of public service, Hurricane Hugo. Charleston had become incommunicado. As Metz was on the air in Louisville that night, Hugo was rushing ashore, knocking out all of the radio and TV stations in Charleston, South Carolina. And I start getting a call or two from Charleston. People there were hearing Metz's voice. They were dialing from South Carolina, asking him for information. One lady called me and said, I'm huddling in the attic with my two children, and it's dark here. And I'd like to know what's going on. The 50,000 clear watt signal of WHAS was helping stranded residents who had battery-powered radios. 
Metz remained on the air, talking to an entirely different audience that night. I felt like that this was the real job of radio communications. And shortly after that, he would retire from his nightly show, but never really retire from the eyes and ears of generations of Kentuckiana residents. I'd like to be thought of as a, a person who was a good communicator, who respected the written and spoken word, who uh, played uh, pretty true with his listeners and viewers, and got an occasional laugh. That's pretty good. Yeah, you bet that's pretty good. Uh, Milton Metz, ladies and gentlemen. That's exactly the way Metz was seen all throughout this region of the United States. His son, Perry, is with me. Hello, my friend. Oh, you're kidding. You two are a great communicator. Your late mother as well. All she of was the one who thought of the weather writer. It was her idea. No! Yeah, he <laughs> took credit for it, but it was her idea. <laughs> I can picture the people misspelling him. Just watch your dad roll his eyes. Here we go again. Couldn't believe it. We love your dad, what he meant to this crusade for children. And tell us again what the crusade means to the Metz family. He was crazy about the crusade. Uh, coming each year, he would come home with stories of people he had met, often who weren't even on camera, who had brought... Uh, a family contribution or neighborhood contribution or just told their own stories of how they had been surprised to find they needed the help that the crusade had given and maybe they'd been giving themselves for years but suddenly found themselves on the receiving end. It was a very touching experience. I saw people come in and they sought him out first. They wanted to just go over and meet the great Milton Metz and just see him and touch him. I never went out to dinner with my father that somebody didn't come over to the table. And all of them were nice. Uh, so he did something right. <laughs> he, he said the secret to success in radio and television was sincerity, that once you could fake that, you had to you have everything. Anything. Perry, we're so glad you're here. You know Don Lee is our CEO, and Brennan Lawrence is with the uh, board. So, Don, tell us what's up here. Well, I was going to say that Milton Metz was one of the most sincere people that I knew, and now that's just <laughs> He took that line away, he? Didn't did. He? But actually, Milton Metz was one of a kind, and he was part of our Crusade family for all 63 years that the Crusades have happened. This is the first one he will not be part of, so this is a very different Crusade for us. Um, he was part of a very small elite group of, of people who had been to every single Crusade, and he would watch that group dwindle and continue to come every year. And it was so important for him to be here. So our friends at Fast Signs uh, came up with a very unique, one of a kind, a commemorative trophy that uh, we're giving to Perry about Milton. Uh, and our board chair, Brennan Lawrence, is doing the presentation here because we want Milton to be remembered and part of the Crusade family forever. Well, thank you. That's his microphone <laughs> that they twisted in there. <laughs> You always liked it because he had two microphones. Uh, he was the only guy who earned two. <laughs> that's, that's wonderful. That's Actually, that's the same as the banner that's up uh, opposite Vincenzo's. I, I talk to your dad sometimes under that banner. <laughs> I come around that corner and say, how are things, Metsy? He, he knew you before you were fine. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, liked you. A great man and really... His image is what WHAS is. Uh, we, we hold on to the leadership that your dad gave us and your mom, too. He worked uh, at these stations for so many years, so many decades, and loved it. It was a, a passion to be in broadcasting, and he felt lucky to do it the same way he felt lucky to be part of the crusade. It was a, a special time. Phenomenal. Perry Metz, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. I want to talk with Randy Coe over here, too. We can do that. Where's, did Randy sneak away from me? Oh, there he is. Are you staying seated? Hello, Randy Coe. Good to see you, wish. brother. Do what you wish, Jerry. Uh, Jerry Ward's with you, too. Randy, uh, Milton, of course, always a favorite for you and your fellow Shriners. And I, we understand that you have a special way to honor Milton's service to the community in Crusade. Well, we do. Thank you. Uh, last year, I was able to sit with him and talk with him. And I grew up with him. I grew up with the Crusade as the 2,000 members of the Coast Air Shrine. But, you know, we thought we'd start off with just saying we did bring an extra 100000 for the crusade this year, and you can use it any way you want. So we hope that helps. But <laughs> <it's a laughs> I would say so, yes. 
But you know, Milton was special. He was, in many ways, the conscience of the community, someone that we could listen to, and he'd bring out, just as, the, as your all's video said, bring out the matters that were important, and you could have intelligent discussions about them, respectfully disagree. And so I grew up with him, a lot of us did, and it was a pleasure to be with him here at the crusade. But we'd like to have him remembered, too. And so the 100,000, you can get that this year. That's easy. But we brought some people with us. And ladies, and would you step up here in the front? And, uh, and in honor of um, everyone's friend, Milton Nets, we thought we'd uh, maybe face that camera. OK, is that camera A That's good. or camera 1? That's the uh, one we're talking about. All right, we thought that we'd make something that has more lasting memory because we understood he liked special education in particular, those kids that are differently blessed. So we brought a check for, what's on that check, kids? Can you turn, turn that, that around, around, would you please? And what's say it say? Say that out loud. One million dollars. Oh my gosh. A million dollars from the Shriners to honor your father. It is an honor. He would be flabbergasted. Uh, thank you so much. So generous. That'll be in a special account with the Crusades assistance, and the money from that will be used to help special education teachers be able to better help those specially blessed kids. And we're honored to be a part of it and really appreciate what Brennan has done and what Dawn has done to make it possible. Without you, of course, you got to carry, you got to have the big shoulders now. Thanks, brother. I appreciate that very much. Your dad, you know your dad and mom are, are just dancing right now. They would both be so surprised because they all, they thought it was about doing things for the kids and to have this done in his name, I know they both would be very proud and grateful. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Shriners, one million dollars. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And, uh, and you said 100,000 to put the use right away? 100,000 for you to have this year and figure out some good use to use it for God's kids. We'll do that. Thank you, Randy Coe. Thanks, everybody at Cozier Charities. We appreciate all of you guys. Thank you so much. Thanks, Perry. Rachel. Kerry, thank you so much. Everybody's just kind of sitting here saying, what just happened? Met's here, I'll tell you, that's what happened. And, and people want to remember him, and now they will forever with the crusade. And again, as uh, Terry just said, it really was all about the children for Milton Metz, and we want to introduce another one right now.